Scarlet Witch Annual Issue 1. So, it's five issues into the actual run of Scarlet Witch. That means it's time for an annual, right? I guess so. Marvel is very weird lately. They, they're they trying a bunch of events right now. It's like, here's the Invasion one. It's the Summer of Symbiote. It's blah, blah, blah. You get it. But also, quietly, for no good reason, there's one called Contest of Chaos. I guess to just keep in mind that we do have an Agatha Harkness show being developed, so we want to do something with this character, like make her young and sexy again. Okay, <laughs> I mean, sure. I can't complain about them changing the way Agatha looks to match more in line with Catherine Hahn because she's a beautiful woman. Agatha is okay to be young i don't care is it more interesting that she's like an old witch like of a classically old wrinkled witch kind of that's kind of more fun but i get it everyone's young and hot in this book i have no complaints about that what i do have complaints about is how little i care about contest of chaos what is that even this book didn't really say it's the prelude so i get it like it's not going to give us the answers but it doesn't say anything either. It's just kind of like, yeah, this is just another issue. It feels like this would just be another issue of the book. But somebody said, what if we made that an event? So Agatha had like a trade paperback to come out before her TV show. Okay. So we open up this book and we're seeing that Wanda is fighting some serpent guy. And he's like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to swallow you. And we cut back to the Emporium and Lot Kill. And that entire battle is taking place in like a little jar that Wanda trapped this guy inside because he's like a demon who sprang one of her traps and now he's going to be like spend eternity fighting her in like this weird pocket dimension. And she just puts it on a bookshelf where there's like a bunch of other ones where she's fighting other creatures in different dimensions. That's the funny, cool stuff I like from this book. It's very exciting. And Darcy's like, that's weird that you just keep them in terrariums and have them in the workplace. Very strange. But before they finish it, some customers show up looking for special seeds, and they get their seeds, which makes us cut to New Salem in Colorado, where we are introduced to a character who has a really stupid name. What is it? Necro... Necromedus? Necrodemus. Necrodemus. Just a demon guy who's like talking to an unknown person like yo i saw the stuff that wanda was doing over there the scarlet witch she died in that mutant event called trial of magneto so that's that's something we could worry about a little bit but either way i know she, what she did with the dark hold how she like put it in herself and it became a prison within her soul and what she did to scython like i know all of that stuff okay what i think that means is she's vulnerable and if we wanted to like find a way to take her down we could and this unknown assailant that this dick is talking to was like yeah of course that's kind of my plan too but i don't want you involved and then this person stabs necrotomus and then like some servants with like zombie skin attack him too and kill him and we see that walking away from the table is agatha harkness looking young and beautiful I know there was there like an Agatha book that came out recently like I know there was like we're doing a big push of Agatha and some other works or is this like the first appearance of her being young again I, I I know I seen like the artwork for this design before somewhere I don't know if it was like for this book or a different one fine great costume sticks to the theme of this book where everyone's just like sexy and overdressed and looks great i love it so much but she's like oh wanda you're always doing something silly we cut back to new york wanda's talking to like a shop owner on the same block as her who's kind of upset no one's coming to eat at his tables and she's like i can't magic that problem for you you already got the skills they'll come what they need be it's fine you're gonna do great and then Darcy runs out like, yo, there's like a thing happening in Texas, like a big lightning guy that zaps people. Maybe you should deal with that. So Wanda leaves, heads to Dallas and fights Zax. Yes, this is Zax. That's a fun appearance. It looks good. Big, goofy lightning guy. That's really fun. When was the last time we saw him? Was he in the Immortal Hulk run? No idea. What a goofy, fun thing to see. She beats him easily. So then she heads back to New York where like a crowd swarm like, wow, you're doing good. Like the entire neighborhood is just excited to have Wanda here, which is kind of cool. I wonder if they're going to do like a switcheroo where Wanda's like controlling the neighborhood, kind of like in the show WandaVision. I don't think so. It's kind of cliched at this point. 
But just to remind you that this book exists because Wanda's popular in the movies, we have a sequence of all the characters from WandaVision showing up. So when Wanda walks back into her shop, there's Agatha ready to talk to her. And we just see Wanda's like, wow, you're young. Yeah, I've always been young, but now the flesh matches the spirit. How funny and cool. The girls are just going to have a conversation and talk over some tea. And this is, I don't know why, I just really like this stuff. Like, it looks so good. It's like, who has an idea for Agatha? Nobody? Okay. What if she was hot now? Okay. What if she's still like a sassy old aunt? That's cool. This is the best Wanda's ever been written. So having her deal with this character that she does have history with, that's kind of fun. And they just have like a nice conversation about, you know, old times, what's going on. And then Agatha's like, what are you really doing here? Just getting right down to the nitty gritty. Just like, I know you have the dark hold in you. I know you got Scython and you like, what are we really doing here? I know what's happening in New Salem, and I know that that dick demon guy, Necrotomus, wanted to do something to you. Like, you you are so full of yourself right now. You got Scython inside of you, potentially waiting to break through and do something destructive. Not to mention, like, Gaia and Vashanti are like, this girl's causing problems. And Wanda's like, oh, it's fine. Uh, they, they did, they've got a bark horse on their bite. They're not doing anything. And I guess it's like, hey, I've been helping you this whole time. Like, you might not see it, but I can tell that you're drowning and I'm the only thing that's kind of keeping you afloat with the elder gods and these other people that want to hurt you. I guess that's playing into the theme of like Agatha not being a truly bad person, whatever. But then we see that she poisoned Wanda's coffee and she starts turning into a brood creature, but Wanda's able to suppress it. Like, okay, I see you're testing me to deal with some crap. Anything else you want to talk about, Agatha? And then suddenly they head through some different dimensions and they're starting off as pirates and they're fighting. And it's all just Agatha trying to get Wanda to admit that she needs help, which I do appreciate. That's kind of been, well, not really like a theme of the book. It's something that's been talked about in a lot of issues. It's just how Wanda is handling every situation where kind of the whole world thinks she's going to break apart and fall apart. But she hasn't yet. Every character is kind of like, you're not normally this well kept. What's going on? What went on is that Elizabeth Olsen was doing really good as the character and people liked her more. So we had to fix her in the books. But it's also like we've been doing this character for decades. Let's try to make her right. So they find a bunch of places. You know, they're pirates for a minute. They go to the super flow. They go to the Land of Legends where you see Paul Bunyan, I think that's the guy, and Uncle Sam are, like, playing cards or something. They go to the Megaverse, and th that's just what it is. It's just Agatha being, like, you do understand that everything you're doing is eventually going to crash. Like, you can't keep up this charade. You're going to fall apart soon. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but you can't do this forever. But one is like, I'm doing fine. Like... Can't you just see that I'm actually doing good here, that I'm surviving and I'm flourishing? Like, come on. I know you're skilled. I know you're capable. But can't you just see that I'm, I'm doing good here? <sighs> you're stubborn. I'll give you that. But you haven't screwed up yet. You know, like you think the fight's going to drag out. But it's like, I mean, I know you're learning and you're smarter than I give you credit for. So I guess all I can do right now is just watch with care. And they return to the Emporium. And you just see Agatha like, well... Look, I I'm helping you as best I can. I don't know if it's going to work. I guess I'll have to see what happens. And Wanda's like, well, for the moment, you could try being happy for me. And kind of catches Agatha by surprise. Like, I guess I could. So do you want to take me for a walk across your hamlet to see what's out there? And they go grab a slice of pizza. Do some cool ladies talking. Some little kid starts to go like, well, Scarlet Witch, you're like my favorite Avenger. Is this your sidekick? Crazy. Just goofy, silly fun. I do like it. I'm Now I'm kind of nervous we're going to get like the reveal that this is all kind of like fake from Wanda's perspective. I hope that's not the case because it's doing something fun. But Agatha's like, look, you, you seem to be doing good and I understand what you are trying to accomplish here. I'll do the best I can and help you out where you need it. But it's good to see you at some sort of peace. 
and that is when Agatha just dissipates and leaves, and Wanda's like, hey, thanks, I appreciate it, I'd expect nothing less from you. We cut back to Darcy working in the shop, helping a customer, and we see Wanda's kind of this like, oh, I guess you actually did the right thing, you gave him the right product, that's pretty cool. Wants to kind of be mad, but it's like, you know, that's not bad, you did, you did good, right on. Everything's kind of working out fine. And we just kind of see, like, we have, like, this weird product in there. It's, like, the C-cut bill, or it's, like, some glowing thing. I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And as we're just explaining that, like, here, Darcy, here's the history of this thing we're looking at. We, we get closer and closer into Wanda's eye until entering her pupil turns into, like, a musky swamp. And then we get a bunch of narration from Agatha. It's like, oh, Wanda, you're trying so hard. But can't you see you're not going to be okay? And, and we start to see like, oh, there's something emerging from the depths of the swamp. There's brains and skulls and disgusting stuff. And then suddenly the book ends with <laughs> Agatha ripping the heart out of Scython, just killing him. And it's like, huh, you never had much use for this. Hey, do, 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 do. Okay, that's fun. I suppose. I don't know. And that's where the book ends. And I'm just like, this isn't even continuing in the Scarlet Witch book. This is continuing in a Spider-Man annual. What is happening? So we have a list of the annuals for like the Contest of Chaos. It's Scarlet Witch where it starts. And then it goes Spider-Man, Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Moon Knight, Spider-Gwen, Venom, X-Men, Avengers. So does... Scarlet Witch even appear in those? Like, what is this? It's just this, like a stupid thing where Agatha's leading? I don't understand. And it's like Spider-Man, Spider-Man versus Wolverine, Iron Man versus Storm, Human Torch versus Ghost Rider. What are we doing here? What are we realistically doing here? I don't know. I like this kind of stuff. Like, if you were to excuse, like, this is all prelude to a big event, I like just Agatha showing up, being hot now, just like, honey, you're crazy but you seem to be okay, and I'm just going to let you ride the wave for a bit. Okay, that's kind of fun. I appreciate that. And then it's just like, no, it's actually for an event, though. It's not even in the Scarlet Witch book, because the next issue of Scarlet Witch is her meeting her son Billy again. And I'm like, okay, that's way more interesting, but sure, let's do this for a bit. The artwork is great. The costumes continue to look impressive. I love the coloring. It's still one of the best books on Marvel shelves right now, if not the best. I appreciate it so much. It, it it looks so visually pleasing. The fact that it's just going to set up an event kind of sucks because this could have just been issue six. I feel like it was, but then they're like, no, but magic event though, before Gods comes out. I don't know. Whatever. I think it's fun. So Scarlet Witch Annual, I am going to give an eight out of 10. Thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.